Thank you to Wacom for sending us this sample. Finally, we have it, everybody. If you've been following our coverage for years, we first reported on this in 2021. And at the time, Pilot actually made this. But since then, apparently, there's no Pilot name to be found on this entire thing. It is 100% made by Wacom now. This is the Dr. Grip Digital for Wacom, but it works on everything and will bring some tablets and some e-notes into the shot to show you exactly how this works. First, however, let's crack it open. You know, honestly, I couldn't tell you what happened. I honestly don't know what happened between Pilot and Wacom and why this wasn't released under the Pilot name, because we met with those guys at Connected Inc. 2021, and we did a bunch of videos on them, and yeah, there's no Pilot writing anywhere on here. That's very strange. So you get the little strip here, and you get another nice little strip here, and this is all your limited warranty, your your regulatory information, all that fun stuff. And we have some tips, and I must say, I have seen these tips before. They look like they will fit the Stadler. They are a type of Wacom tip. They're not the Wacom tips that all the kind of remarkable and everyone else uses, but they're dang close and we will have them for sale. It's wrapped in paper. This whole thing is not plasticless because of that and the pen and little strips, but it's nice that they kind of reduced a lot of that. This is the first time I've had this in my hands for years. We went with the guys to the event in Tokyo and we reviewed these and yep, they look like they have the same kind of mechanisms. You can press the back down and it pops out. This is one of the few in the world. I believe there's a Korean company that does this kind of pop out thing with a two, it has a two style thing where the pen comes out and then the digital Wacom portion of it comes out this is really nice they did send us the blue one the, the whole thing is about the grip it's all about the grip and I will tell you before we start writing this is a very squishy grip it is a huge pile which means it sinks multiple millimeters into that that is a chunk of silicone your fingers just absolutely conform to it whether you hold it back there whether you do kind of more like a chopstick grip whether you do a triangular grip I do a triangular grip myself when I write like this and honestly this thing is not too shabby it's built much like a pen but let's explore it a little bit more shall we first let's weigh it so if we do a standard Wacom pen we come in at around six grams the Sony DPT slash Fujitsu pen at 17 grams the Onyx pen 2 Pro at 16 grams and the pilot well X pilot comes in at 14 grams so it's on the heavier side but it is average to give you guys some basis of comparison, we have a basic regular Wacom pen that works on the Remarkable 2 and now for the Dr. Grip. So it does have functionality. That's out of the way. How does it feel in comparison to the stock Remarkable Tips? Let's figure it out together. The Remarkable Tips are kind of gritty. It does have a certain level of kind of sandpapery feel to it because the stock tips are a graphite composite tip. The Dr. Grip is a little bit more glidey and it's more of a plastic feel. This is considered a palm tip, which is a plastic one. So this one is going to kind of reverberate a little bit less. It's going to glide over the screen a little bit less. Now, tip style and feel is subjective because, for example, I like the Remarkable Tips more. I don't like a harder tip. And conversely, with something like a Stadler, I don't like a stickier tip, something that's a little bit more malleable. I like my tips to wear down and kind of get flat and get bent, as you can see this one, because that means you're actually grinding away at it. It's a consumable part. We're not talking titanium tips here. These are a little bit outside of the kind of tips that I like. This one is more geared towards someone that wants a kind of smoother feel. This thing is gliding around the page. You don't have a whole lot of grit. There is a decent amount of feedback because it is plastic. Because it's hard plastic, it doesn't dampen, meaning that it you feel everything through your hand. But that being said, the silicone does dampen and you feel almost nothing at that point. So it's an interesting kind of combination. I would say though, this feels the best to hold in your hand out of a lot of styluses on the market because traditionally styluses don't give you a grip. Some of them do, like some Xiaomi devices and some iReader devices. They give you little grips that go over. But this one's stock. This one comes with the unit itself. Let's just write out a page and we'll explore a little bit more of our findings. Yeah. 
Yes, I know I wrote like a doctor, but that's not the point. The point was to just kind of feel it around and see how it was. I think, you know what, it's alright. It's not for me. It's not personally for me to grab one of these and go, but I must say I like the tactile feel, and it's very rewarding to press that out. There is something to be said with things that you can just doodle and twiddle with. For example, remember the marker signature by Remarkable had a push at the back and it didn't do anything. It was simply for a tactile feel to get that realism of saying, okay, I'm gonna, someone give me my contract to sign. Okay, here we go. Pull this out from my breast pocket in my suit, go like that and sign away at the bottom. So it is a very valiant effort and a great attempt at a note-taking stylus. I very much appreciate Wacom, I guess not Pilot, for sending us this sample. We do appreciate it. If you guys want to grab one of these, they are finally available in the store. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. A ton more styluses have just been released, no joke, so stay tuned to goodyreader.com.